In this experiment, we will be understanding that how we can surface sterilize the explant and culture it on the media for callus growth. We always start with preparing a tray in which we put all the required chemicals so that everything is handy. Apart from the chemicals, we will also be requiring forceps as you can see on the screen. These are the forceps, pointed end. These are the scapels, which is a blade. This is used to cut the explant and the other material which we have put in the stand. So for doing this experiment, we would be requiring certain chemicals with which we are going to sterilize our explant. So these are the different Petri plates in which we have put the different chemicals in the series as we are going to discuss now. Before we should start the any experiment which we have to do in the laminar airflow, we make sure that we sterilize our hands by using ethanol like this. So this is the first Petri plate which is containing water. Next is having mercury chloride. The third one we will be putting some ethanol in it. We are putting this on the spot because ethanol can get evaporated easily. So we are doing it when we have started the experiment. The fourth and the fifth Petri plate contains water. So we are going to use these Petri plates and the chemicals in it for the sterilization of the explant. So we will be using the forceps for picking up the explant. So we take the forceps and pick up the explant and put it in the first Petri plate which contains water. So we wash and clean the surface of the explant very nicely so that all the dirt material that is present on the surface gets removed. After doing this nicely, we have to make sure that we are handling it very gently and putting it in the next Petri that is containing the mercuric chloride. So now the explant is in the mercuric chloride solution. So mercury chloride is an excellent way of surface sterilizing the explant. Apart from the mercury chloride, sodium hypochlorite is also used. Now we are shifting the explant from the mercury chloride petri plate to the next petri plate which contains ethanol. So ethanol also makes sure that all kinds of microorganisms are removed from the surface of the explant before we can proceed towards its culturing on the media. Now we are placing the explant in distilled water so that all the chemicals that are present on the surface of the explant are removed. So at this step almost all the microorganisms and all the dust particles have been removed from the surface of the explant. We are giving a second washing of the water to the explant. After doing this, we are going to put this explant in a beaker containing distilled water until we prepare for the next step. We also light the burner. Now before we can start the process of culturing of the explant on the media, we make sure that the working bench of the laminar airflow is also clean. For doing that, we are wiping off the surface with ethanol. This we have already discussed in the sterilization methods experiment. So now we are going to Take out the explant from the beaker and place it in an empty Petri plate. In the meantime, we are keeping a tissue also so that all the water is absorbed from the explant and it is dry.
so the next step is going to use this scalpel to cut the explant into small pieces because we cannot place this big piece of explant directly on the media we have to make sure that we are cutting it into small pieces so we have to do this step very carefully So as you can see that the explant is being cut into small pieces. Now we are using the snake plant for uh, the explant culturing so it is a little bit harder to cut it. All right, so the explant has been cut down into small pieces which are ready to be cultured now. So next we have to take the culture tube which contains the media which has been solidified also. We have already discussed it in the previous class. Now we will take the explant very nicely with the forcep and place it gently over the media in the culture tube. And then we are going to place the cotton knob over it. We are placing one more explant in another culture tube. So you can see that we pick it up very gently and push it a little bit into the media like that. And then we place the cotton plug over it. So this culturing part has been done now. So we will just put it under optimum conditions. After several weeks, you will observe that callus growth has now taken place. So from this callus, when we will do the other procedures, we will find out that the rooting will start to take place after several more weeks and then the shooting will take place. When the plantlet is ready, we can then perform hardening procedure ultimately at the end.